Well, hello there. I'm Fosse Jack, co-artistic director of Novelties Theatre, and I am here to bring some wintry nostalgia to you, our dear readers. You see, one of my family's holiday traditions was the annual Christmas Eve reading of Clement C. Moore's classic poem. I remember my little brother, sisters, and I sitting on the couch on either side of my father while he picked up that much worn and loved illustrated volume and began his own dramatic reading of Clement's quaint tale of a nog-induced fever dream. <laughs> you know, looking back, it's a little cliched and perhaps a touch commercial, but it reminds me of simpler times and in this tempestuous and god-awful year, a little nostalgia can be a welcome thing. So while it may not be Xmas Eve, I hope you find this little gift of my memory a welcome thing during this bleak, bleak, bleak winter. The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. And the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and Saint Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned 
with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> and that, dear readers, is my holiday memory. Now go and celebrate your own socially distanced holidays, whatever your traditions may be. And whether Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Solstice, for the love of all childhood memories everywhere, wear a mask. <laughs>